Hey guys, Brad at Miller Lawn Maintenance here. I um, want to talk to you guys about blowers. So, especially with like mowing in particular. Um, so we do mainly residential. We mow about 200 to 250 mowing properties a week. Uh, it would be a well over 300 next year a week. Um, but with that being said, um, one of the things that we had always been doing over the last couple of years is um, we've been using backpack blowers to blow off driveways that aren't very big, maybe, maybe 30 yards in length and this and that. And it's... It, we were like, okay, well, me being me, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm a guy, I want the best of the best, I want the backpack blowers and all this stuff. Um, well, what what is the biggest pain with the backpack blowers after you mow a property for 15 to 20 minutes and then you have to come out, put your mowers up, then you have to go put get a backpack blower back on. So you have to put it on the ground or hold it, start it, and then you have to strap in it and then you can finally blow everything off. Well, I'll tell you what we did, you know, as of, you know, this year we started doing this and it was one of the best things I did. It saved me so much money, made things so much easier, especially when we had COVID was here. We were dealing with all the COVID stuff and everything and getting parts was next to impossible. God, that was miserable. Um, so, you know, we, we were using these backpack blowers, you know, not this one, but like we had other smaller ones. So this is the 9010 Echo backpack blower right there we we use those for our leaf removal um they're just so much better uh than most of the blowers out there as far as leaf removal goes but you don't want to use that for uh mowing i mean that especially when you're doing residential it just kind of sucks so what we did um i had one of my employees come up to me and, and if you're not listening to your employees you should be because every once in a while they'll come up with a real banger that you know, whatever. Well, we started doing some research. There's got to be better. And he's like, let's, let's use handhelds instead. Let's take handhelds. And my big thing was, well, what about our commercial properties? He's like, we just ride on the mowers. We have, as you can see in here, we have, we're running John Deere 60 inch mowers and the stand ons, which are fantastic mowers. Highly recommend them. John Deere killed it with those. But the problem was, is well, how do you blow off a back, you know, a big commercial property? Well, you don't want to put a backpack blower and run around and do all that. It takes time and this and that. So they just ride on the mowers now with our new blowers. And I'm going to show you. And you're going to laugh, and I'll explain it in a second of why. So we went to little handheld blowers. It was awesome. Believe it or not, one of the best things we ever did was this handheld blower. Uh, when the guys finish up mowing, they just yank it out of the truck. They can walk with it, start it, blow everything off, throw it right back in. Use it doesn't even use a whole tank of fuel a day. So like super cheap. But the reason we went to it is we kept having problems on a regular basis of not being able to get parts to repair them. Well, then also we started looking into it and we started realizing that, um, this little backpack lower, uh, which is the, uh, what is that? PB 250 is what, what it is. We realized it was $160 for a brand spanking new one. Me being me and being the man, I want this thing. That's me. That's that's what I want, but that's not what works. Um, and nor does it save you money because when those break down, it's two, three, four hundred dollars to fix them, depending on the issue. Mind you, I'm not a professional on it, so that's, don't get stuck in my numbers, but it's really expensive. This little PB250 though, if you were to go and have it repaired, it is a labor minimum in Indiana that I know of, of a hundred dollars automatically. I bought this blower with tax for 160. If for some reason that was to go down, I'm not even repairing it. I'm literally throwing it in the trash, paying 160, taking it back to my guys. My guys are back to full strength again. Um, if you haven't thought about it, I would strongly recommend it. Um, my guys love them. I've gotten out and used them because I thought it was a complete and utter joke. I was like, I'm not, I'm a big guy. I, you know, I like, I like the big, tall, fancy equipment. It's cool. It's whatever. But as far as I know, as far as in our area, I'm the only residential guy that's using the back, the little handheld blowers to blow up properties. And I drive around and I see these one man bands, they come out here and they're, Man, I got my big backpack blower and it's like this huge thing. Well, at the end of the day, yeah, you got this nice backpack blower. It cost this one, I think, was $6.99, I think is what it what it cost because it's the big the big boy for the leaf removals. But they're gonna go out and buy this $6.99 or $4.99 or $3.99 backpack blower. For what? They're just gonna be mowing a bunch of properties. Use this. Look how many I'm using it. You know, I'm throwing it around. And for the record, I have a reconstructed wrist from an accident that happened in April. And I'm slinging this thing around like no problem. 
and it doesn't matter if it breaks obviously neglect is a different thing but if this thing was to break 160 bucks i got a brand new one handed to the guys they keep moving no lost time on the repair and you paid $60 more and you got a brand new one. And that's $60 with the tax additional. So our company will continue to use those blowers. Uh, we will never go back to um, backpack blowers on our mowing crew because we just ride on the stand on mowers on the commercials, just ride around and blow everything off and it's all handled and done. Um, but that's a little tip from Miller Lawn Maintenance. Um, I'm Brad. Please visit us at MillerLawnMaintenance.com. Uh, we're in central Indiana, specifically Indianapolis area. Um, give us a call. We're here, 317-416-2004. Website, MillerLawnMaintenance.com. And look forward to talking to you guys. If you have any questions, please feel welcome to ask. See ya.